Director's Reflections for May 28th of 2023, a lagbuster journalistic baptism. My debut as a staff journalist for Lee Steen back in 1968 was catastrophic. My first note with which I intended to anoint my journalistic baptism was a true monument of error and inaccuracies, an unexpected and unwanted failure. My first formal assignment on the street was covering the keynote address by one of the most prominent Latin American professors, the Chilean Benjamin Viel Vicuña at the Was Medical Science Hall. I was carrying a thick notebook on whose pages, originally, I was recording with a stroke similar to an eligible medical prescription each one of the ideas exposed by Dr. Viel Vicuña on the properties of contraceptive methods. All his talk revolved around the advantages of using condoms and pills to prevent pregnancy, as well as other methods in vogue at that time that will help contain the rate of population growth. He was considered one of the great promoters and visionaries of reproductive rights and an excellent historian of demography and family planning in Latin America. I didn't have the slightest idea of the character, but I wasn't familiar with the subjects that he dominated either. After he finished with his talk and received applause and request for autographs, I returned to the newsroom a little late and with the tyranny of closing time, wrote the story with many quotes memorized or interpreted with some doubt from the scribbles in my notebook. I went home convinced that I had written in my debut a note up to those made by the most veteran and accredited listing journalist. But the next day, when I got to the newspaper, I found the early barrage of complaints that Dr. Viela Cuña expressed in a letter sent to the editor, Don Rafael Herrera, bitterly dissatisfied with the Chronicle, and he had every reason to. It turns out that the content of the published Chronicle was the complete opposite of the ideas and convictions that completed the message that the illustrious visitor came to give to Dominicans so that they will assume family planning. I wrote that he was opposed to contraceptives and considered them insufficient and useless. I admitted my guilt, my lack of a skill to write the notes clearly or calligraphically and head down and ashamed I told the editor-in-chief, Milciades Oviera, that at that moment I was throwing in the towel and would abandon the race. He advised me not to give up on that first setback, no matter how disappointing it was. And he warned me that in the future, the same thing could happen to me because they are the classic hazards of the trade. I took his advice, and that is why I have been in this profession for 55 years. For Listing Diario, voice over and translations by Indira Rodriguez.